Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn how to create a free SQL database and connect to it using our desktop client. In the last session, we have seen there are two options and we looked at the first option that is how to create a free MySQL DB online and then create tables and add data and connect to it. Today we are going to see how to create a free tier MySQL database on AWS. Now all these notes are from the earlier session so you can ignore this one and to go to AWS, you can just go to your browser and go to aws.amazon.com. And here, if you do not have an account, you can first create an account. And if you have an account, you can sign into your account. So in my case, I have already signed into my account and this is my dashboard. And here you can go to services and here in the services, you will see RDS. You can see, find it here or the recently visited services are shown here. In your case, you may find it here in this list and you can go to the RDS and from here, I will go to databases here and I will click on create database. And here, so here I will select this standard create and you can see the options we have different engines amazon aurora mysql maria db oracle postgresql microsoft sql server i will go with mysql and then uh, this is the version you can select if you want a different version this is the latest one as of now and then in the templates you can select what template you want so we are going with the free tier so go with the free tier if you want to keep within the free limits. And then here in the settings, you can give some uh, database name. So I will say this is demo DB. You can give any name here. Then here we have the credentials. So the username is admin. If you want, you can change this, but I'll go with it. And then you can create some password. So I will add a password and confirm the password. And then here, this is the instance. So for the free tier, we have this dbt2 micro. So go with all these defaults. And here you can see it has 20 GB of storage and all these you can go with as it is. In the public access, I will say yes, so that we can connect to our database from outside for this demo, I will say the yes here. And for the security group, I will go with the existing and all this I will keep it as default and then i will click on create database uh, here i cannot use underscore so let me say demo db and i will now say create database so it will start creating the database and you can see the database is getting created so it may take some time so you can see here it says creating this database it can take few minutes so you can pause and then resume the video once you have your database up and running. Okay, after a few minutes, you will see this successfully created the database and you will see the database here. So if I go to the database and see the details, you can see all the details of this database and connectivity, monitoring, log events, all these details you will see here. And now I have to connect to this database. So I will copy this endpoint. This is the endpoint. I can copy this endpoint and you can use any client on Windows. I am using this Heidi SQL. So you can get this from Heidi SQL download page or you can use any other client like Workbench and I will click on new. And I will say this is AWS demo DB. And I will select the network type here. I will keep it as MySQL here and library. I will keep it default. Now in the host name or IP, I will copy the endpoint that I have copied from here. So this is what I will copy here. And then I will give the user. So the user is admin and the password. So whatever password you have set for this database while creating the database, you can add it here. The port number is 3306. And now I will 
click on open and you can see it is able to connect now sometimes you may get some error here it may not be able to connect in that case you can go to the security groups so here for this database go to the security group and here you can see all the security groups and rules here and here you can see this is the security group added and if i go to the inbound rules so as of now i have got all these inbound rules here and just in case you are getting some issue while connecting you can click on edit inbound rules and then you can connect this you can add rule here and say custom tp and here say my ip and then add this and save this so just in case if you are not able to connect you can change the inbound rules to connect and as of now i'm able to connect and you can see this is the database i can see all the database here and here i can go to this mysql here i can do a right click and say create new and i have the option to create new table i can create a new table here i can give the table name so let's say table name is employee and i can add the columns here so let's say i will say here first name and it is of data type where care and the length i will say last name and type where care and then i will say age this should be of type uh, integer so i will say tiny int should be fine here and the length uh, i will say three and i will click on save so uh, here it is saying access denied for user so in, in case you get this error as i told you you can try to add this and i will save the rules and now i will try to save again so you can see here it is not able to uh, it is not connecting me with the admin i can go and check so let me uh, see the other database that i had i will say i will close this one and i will open this again and this is my earlier db i will check this one and here you can see i had created a employee table here so i will have to let me go back to the demo db again yeah i think i will have to go from here in the demo db i will go to create new database so i will have to create new database from here first i'll say okay and now in this db1 i will say create new table and here i will say the table name is employee and then i will add the columns i'll say first name and type where care last name and age of type int let me just keep it integer and length is 3 and i will save so this is getting saved here and if i now go to the data i can now add the data here so this is how you can create a free database in aws and then connect to the database i hope this was very useful for you thank you for watching and never stop learning